Uh, this is going to be uh, an overview of our GrowWatt dashboard. We have three inverters. Each of them has a Wi-Fi stick, but only two inverters have solar panels. Um, the serial numbers for the uh, inverters are listed here in the dropdown. Uh, the N and the Y have panels. The F does not. That's for future upgrades for more capacity. Uh, and when we do look at one of the inverters, in this case Y, the solar input uh, is coming at 578 watts. That will be updated in five minutes. Right now we have snow coming down uh, on a, what's 36 degree weather, so it's not going to stick, but solar is not so great today because it's cloudy. Uh, we're also delivering some of the solar power to the battery, and we're pulling um, 45 watts from the, uh, to the house through this one inverter. We don't have any grid power in use. Um, the panel here shows a breakdown of our production and consumption. Today we've generated 2.2 kilowatt hours, not very much at all because of the weather. And then we can go through and look how much we've discharged today versus total, how much we've charged versus total, how much import from the grid. So if we have to charge the battery, uh, the battery pack off the grid, if it gets very low and we haven't had sun like in the winter, or before we put solar, this uh, was always just passed through from the grid. And all that does is have a relay that allows the grid power to come through, but it monitors how much that was. So we had 2.7 uh, megawatt hours from the grid, and that was several months before the solar panels were installed. That's for this one inverter. Um, the what, inverter without panels came in at the time we installed the panels. Uh, so um, it's the amount of data won't reflect the same as these other two. And then this here's load consumption today in, in total. Uh, if we look down here, we can actually see for this inverter the amount of um, load consumption that it was supporting. And then the blue will be the amount of solar generated for today through this one inverter. Uh, we've imported nothing from the grid. This is what we've pulled, uh, or this was the house, or house load, and this is the solar. And you can see the solar picks up throughout the morning, and it was very weak. For the morning, we were able to charge. But then we started running the clothes dryer, and we will run the dryer, I mean the clothes washer, and then we'll run the dryer, and that will start to actually consume a fair amount and pull the battery down. Uh, earlier, we had, were able to charge the battery up to 41%, and then it's fallen back down as we started using it, and the clouds have come in. Uh, and the data for the other inverter that has solar looks very similar. Uh, it's a 400 watts, not very much at all, but it often is enough to kind of sustain and keep the battery from depleting too much, assuming we don't um, run any heavy equipment. Uh, same amount, 2.2 kilowatt hours today. Uh, and we can look at combined output. If I go back through here, we can see all the solar in total that was generated between both um, inverters. And if I break each inverter down, you can see the inverter uh, N was blue, the inverter Y is red, and you can see that uh, they follow a very similar path. They will vary, like this section here isn't the same, they are different, and that could be because of blockage on one inverter, or I mean one uh, string of panels versus the other, but um, basically they follow a very similar pattern. Uh, today is not a very good day. If I go back, uh, I can see, let's find if I can see if I can find a better day. We haven't had good solar for many days. Just, uh, it's been cloudy, and today it's snowy. And this is March 29th. Um, so we have had some very good sunny days, but we've had some not so sunny days. If I break it down by month, I can actually look to see how much we've generated per month. For this year, we generate only 130.4 kilowatt hours in January, 355 kilowatt hours in February, and 416.4 kilowatt hours in March so far. We only have a um, couple more days, so this is probably not going to get that much, much more. Um, but that's our basic production of solar. And um, I, you know, I'll end up showing more about our consumption as well. Um, but right now, this is just kind of a general big picture of how much we've been able to uh, generate. One challenge here is it doesn't do a very good job of plotting this against um, our consumption. It'd be nice to see a really good uh, analysis of how much we've generated versus how much we've consumed. Uh, that way we can start doing some better analysis and comparison. But that's just a nice quick overview. And the uh, next videos, um, I'm going to look at historical to see how that compares to pre-solar and how much um, we're saving, uh, at, least in, at least in consumption. And then we can look at the dollars, uh, which are a little harder to evaluate because the prices have changed for electricity. But, um, but it'd at least be nice to know we're using a lot less grid than we used to. All right, thank you.
Uh, if you're interested and you like these videos, please subscribe and like, and we'll, uh, we'll keep making more.